Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the king and welcome back to the channel. Today is the big day, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the brand new mid-chapter patch for Dead by Daylight. There is a lot to uncover in this, and in this video, we're going to try to show you guys everything that's new and explain everything to you guys. For those of you guys that haven't played it yet, you guys can also download this right now and play it yourself. Uh, but yeah, we're going to jump on into this. And as you guys can see already on screen, we got ourselves the lovely brand new Demogorgon skin. Pretty damn cool. He is a, a, a little bit gooey, as you can see. Uh, there's also some other skins. We're going to jump on into that in a second. Before we do, I just asked one, one thing. I'm literally begging you guys. Right now, we are live on Twitch. My schedule is actually on screen right now. You guys can come out to the streams and enjoy everything live. You can see us play live, hear our reaction, see videos that are going to be made a century later. So please, please, please come on out. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump on into all of these things now. So obviously, we have this Demogorgon skin, which is really, really awesome. Also, I apologize for the monitor being in the way. Um, but yeah, we have the Demogorgon skin. It's looking a little extra gooey. And then if we go over to the survivor's side, we now have ourselves the brand new Nancy cosmetic that is in the game. Uh, it's not too bad. Not a big fan of the hair, but everything else is pretty nice. I feel like if I change the hair, and thankfully none of these cosmetics are locked, I feel like this looks a lot better on her. And then the final skin that we have is on Steve. I actually didn't get it because I am not a Steve player. I don't really play Steve at all. We have ourselves the Steve Harrington skin. Not too bad. I, I really like it. And again, thankfully, it is not locked. So there we go. We have all of the Stranger Things cosmetics that are coming out into the game, which is really, really awesome. Obviously, the big news is that the clown is now been reworked, UI is reworked, and the movement has been reworked as well. Uh, in celebration, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a clown cosmetic. We pretty much have all the cool ones, but I want to get something that I, I don't really have. And really looking at it, there's not too much besides Blight. So I'm going to get Blight for uh, Clown today. We're going to equip that and we're going to be running that and having some fun. Uh, I also want to show you guys the patch notes as soon as you come on into the game. We obviously would want to see the things that were changed from the PTB. Ah, here it is. New from PTB. And it seems that there's only three things. Added new animation when entering the hatch while crawling. Updated self-care fail animation. Slightly raised the camera when crawling. Those are the only changes. So, obviously, you know, not really positive feedback on the UI and everything like that. And most people pretty much said that, hey, we want some changes. So, obviously, with creating a brand new UI and putting in all this effort, they're not just going to completely scrap the idea. However, it does open the door to have a basically a classic mode as we've been talking about that shows the regular ui with the updated graphics so again we're going to have to wait and see what ends up happening with that moving forward though tomorrow will be the tome release with all of the new cosmetics and new rift and everything like that new challenges and on thursday we're going to be getting the brand new event so today we will start off with the clown this is going to be an interesting week for dbd it's gonna be really awesome let's jump on in to the first game alrighty so here is also the build that we are going to be running on the clown the first thing that we have on the list is the makeup kit which considerably increases the invigorated status effect which is something that i love because i love using this effect as more of a means of going around and going to different places rather than really doing anything else and on top of that i love using it with a cigar box because i can see the auras of survivors in 16 meter radius when i am invigorated or come on that with barbecue and chili for the points sloppy butcher just so we can make it so that they heal a little bit longer save the best for last because it's almost a necessity on the clown pop goes the weasel just to get rewarded for some good gameplay in fact we'll bring a mori as well moris aren't actually that dangerous right now we're tempting but we are just going to be brewing a Mori just to see if we can get some cool shots while we are uh, finishing the job, essentially. And I just want to show you guys how fast the queue times are on the killer side. Yeah, I, it is unbelievably quick. They really need to make like a 10 or 15% incentive for the killers to play more killer because, man, are they none of them. Or maybe it's just because I'm in rank 1 and it's just really fast. Speaking of, MMR should be out now, if I'm not mistaken. 
you could tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe MMR should be out right now and we should be matched with people that are accurately ranked against us. So we'll find out right now in this game. Alrighty, so here we go. We didn't get a new map, sadly, but uh, we are on Wretched Shop. This is going to be the second game of the game, actually. Second game of the day. That words are hard. Uh, I played the first game on Lampkin Lane, but the quality of the video, I realize, is really, really low. I I've still been... Uh, hello? Uh... Okay, well, that's one of the bugs to report. Can I go the other way? Let me, let me... Nope, you can't run in there at all. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, but yeah, uh, for those of you guys that are wondering, as you know, I've been having a little bit of PC issues recently, and, um, I basically reinstalled Windows and reinstalled the actual, uh, graphics card, cleaned out all the dust and did all of that stuff, and I still had the issue, and basically the issue that I'm getting is that my audio just goes all buggy, and it glitches out, and everything freezes. Everything that I'm seeing freezes. So, it's been really, really weird. Um, I don't know why it's been doing that. I, I have a decent graphics card. I have the 2070, so I'm not sure why that's been happening, uh, but it, it's been happening. Can, wow, she can get in there, so you, you, I can't. If you literally stand there, you're invincible. Uh, anyways, so that's, that's what's been happening with the graphics card, and I did not know I swung there. And pretty much, I, um, reinstalled my drivers, and it seemed to work. In fact, I also reinstalled DVD and everything like that, and for the first time ever, I'm able to actually record in Ultra. As you guys know, I typically play on low settings, and now I'm able to play on Ultra. It is pretty damn interesting. So, quality is gonna look a lot better than it, it used to, but as for everything else, it, well, yeah, I, I can't walk through that. I cannot walk through that at all, Miss Fang. I wonder if she knows that. It's actually a little bit early, so I don't think people are going to catch on to that, but holy crap. If people realize that they can do that, which, I mean, maybe after this video they will, but even so, a lot of people will still probably find out. It is going to be abused. Everyone's running through that goddamn bus. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, we're also going to be playing Survivor after this game and, and trying out the locomotion and seeing how it feels and how it looks. Also, if you notice in the top left-hand corner, um, basically, what has happened is if you're injured, you know how there was just a red bar, essentially? Or not red bar. Like, your outline was red. They've now changed that, so your outline is no longer just red. Your outline is... Hello? Uh, now has like a little scratch mark through it, so you can actually know thoroughly when someone has actually been, um, injured, which is pretty nice. Uh, good job, Claudette. So that's pretty awesome. You can actually know now when someone is, is fully injured rather than, uh, having to guess, essentially. Actually, there's no window here. Hi. Uh, it also seems that generators, when they pop, I don't get the notification that they pop. Uh, I haven't been noticing that. In the last game I played where I got the 4K, I was down to one gen, and I didn't even realize that. Uh, so, that's also uh, another bug. Um, it's funny because none of these bugs are actually in the PTP. Uh, I haven't encountered that bus bug or the other bug. So, not too sure how they ended up here, but hopefully they get fixed in their next upcoming change. Alright, so we have the invigorated status effect, and... Basically, what I like doing with the invigorated status effect is basically that. You see the auras of exactly where someone is or where someone's hiding. It it makes it very, very easy for you, actually, to know where somebody is. Hello there. Also, as you can see all the new animations, there was a wonderful video done by Dylan KG. And basically, he showed the difference between the old animations and the new animations and the difference in timing, essentially. And realistically, there are no time difference whatsoever. Uh, everything is pretty much up to par. It's just the animation looks a little bit more bulkier than um, the previous animations that we're accustomed to. But everything itself is very nice. <laughs> very, very nice, Cheryl. Everything itself is pretty much standard to what we are used to. Um, so the only difference is really 360-ing. I know a lot of people are pretty concerned about 360ing and how that's going to work and everything like that. But uh, 
for the most part, it's not too bad. Um, I am going to try it out myself and see how it is in a second, but yeah. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on those generators. We also had our webcam position wrong in our last recording. I had it covering the top left. Um, sadly, I didn't notice until it was a little bit too late, so that kind of sucked. There we go. We have the invigorated status effect. I'm going to toss it over there, and I'm going to kick this. And also, what is lovely about this, again, as you can see, the plot is right there. You can see exactly where she is, and we can give her a good old smacking. Wow, we actually got her with that one. That's pretty good. Alrighty. So that girl is still on the hook. I believe those are a little bit changed as well. Nice dead art. Dead art also has been changed, so we're going to be using that as well. Uh, in the PTP, a lot of people told me that dead art was directional. I didn't know what they meant by that. I saw a video on it, and I was like, holy hell, dead art is directional. This is crazy. Uh, and basically, if you don't know what that means, ah, uh, Katie Kate, I'm going to kick your gen. I'm sorry. Basically, if you don't know what that means, essentially, uh, you can control which way your dead heart goes. It is actually really awesome. Um, and it makes the perk a lot more viable than it was before, which is really nice. Hey there, Kate. Uh, normally, I wouldn't go after my obsession, but she's making my job very easy. So I'm going to go and put her on the hook. There is the gen aura. So maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm just dumb. And gens are getting popped. So I don't think that one's a bug. Alright, so we got one injured person running back and one person running straight there. So basically what I like doing, again, tossing this in front of me, giving it to three seconds, getting the invigorated, tossing it again, getting to three seconds. And then as soon as I get there, I'm invigorated again. And I can easily just go after a target like this and get her to drop that pallet for us. There we go. And make this a dead zone. We'll leave her be now. I don't want to tunnel her. And we can go this way to where that other survivor was. Hello, guys. Gang's all here. Hello, Fang. I'll go after you. Thank you for wasting that pallet. I appreciate it. Oh, Fang. Hi. Come on. Let's go put you on the hook. On the hook you go. Yeet. Perfect. All right, we got two people over there. We got one person wrestling the gen in the wretched shop and one person cleansing a totem. I'm going to leave the Kate alone because, again, she is our obsession. And, frankly, I don't want to go after our obsession. Hi there. <laughs> I love that. Hi. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I missed that. All right, I'm going to quickly go ahead and kick this while we can. Perfect. All right. I don't know if anyone's around, but we can easily find out by doing this. Toss that here. Anyone around? Anyone around? No, but we have a Mori. Okay, there we go. There we go. With the Mori. I will have one finger, please. Slicey dice. And nom nom nom. Very nice finger. Beautiful. There we go. We got a Mori down in the game. Not too bad. Not too shabby. All right, we got the auras of two people. Uh, we'll go after the Feng because she is on death hook, I believe. So makes our job easy. Grab some of this, swap back to that. And with this momentum boost, we should have enough to get her. I love that momentum boost. It's so nice, especially with cigar box. Actually, we can kill her with our Mori as well. I'm gonna go put you over here in the nice open area though. Come on, you stay there. Now you die. Yeah, look at his foot. <laughs> I just realized that his he has uh, no shoe on that foot. Ooh, Fang, you have some pretty nails. Alrighty, there we go. Another finger for our collection. 
Perfect. Alrighty. Three gens left. So we need to be uh, careful. Or one gen, I should say. But three in total. You know what I mean? And that one is pretty far along done. Uh, we got our Cheryl here. Hello there, Cheryl. And this is where Save the Best for Last really shows its value as a perk, uh, especially on the clown. You can literally just hit someone, go straight to the bottle, and continue to zone them essentially wherever you want them. That gen's about to pop over there, but that's completely fine. Very nice. Because once we get the down, it really wouldn't matter, unless she has adrenaline. Then in that case, oof. Uh, she is basically running to a corner here, so that's fine. I don't know why I did that. Down you go. Uh, I'm actually going to put you on the hook, even though that girl is over there. And you know what? I'm going to drop you. I was hoping she didn't have adrenaline, but it's okay. So I don't actually know where this girl went. Uh, I saw her working on that. I'm assuming she jumped into a locker, maybe? No. Okay. Well, I have no clue where she went. I'm just going to murder you. I'll take a 3k. It's okay if she gets a hatch. I'm going to stomp on your head too as well. And take one of your fingers. Don't forget to moisturize. Nom nom nom. Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, if she gets a hatch or if she gets a door, that is completely fine. And it looks like she got a door. She got this door over here. Well, that is a GG, my friends. I'll, I'll take a shabby little 3K. I'll take it. Not too bad. Not too bad. We ended up getting a, a good chunk of points here, and we managed to hook everybody as well, so... Not too bad. Hey, the hatch is here, actually. I'll just lock that. And that's a GG, my friends. We got a little brutal killer, but I'm sure we got uh, about 25,000 points or so. Uh, so I will take it. Oh, we got 30,000 points. Jeez. GG's. Well... GDC these guys. And now, my friends, we are going to jump on in to a survivor game. Alrighty, here we are on a brand new map. Hello. We are playing against a Freddy. Take a look at that. We're playing against a Freddy Fred. Uh, we didn't get the new map again. I do apologize. But again, I'm begging you guys, come on over to Twitch. We'll be playing on the new maps. We will be playing new killer or the new clown, I should say. And all of that good stuff. So make sure you guys do come on out and show some love and some support. I don't know what this Meg is doing. What the hell is solo queue? <laughs> okay. But yeah, please, please, please come on over. Uh, schedule, as I said. Wait, Claudette got injured. Claudette was next to me. Hello, Claudie. But yeah, please come on over. We'll be live. Today's a 12-hour stream day. Uh, I'm, I'm still a little bit under the weather, so I don't know if we're going to go for the full 12 hours, but we'll definitely be trying. Um, but yeah, I suppose I'm not helping by just trying to run and find them. No, I can't get that from this angle. Hello, Freddy. Goodbye, Freddy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, big boy save. Nice. Oh, whoa, that is new. That is new! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what have they done? What have they done to the flashlights? Freddy. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Ow. Freddy, I was just trying to see the flashlights. How dare you? It was a fake pallet. I see. Well, I just wanted to see the flashlight, man. I just wanted to see the flashlight. Thank you, Claudie. Oh, hi, Freddy. Freddy. Oh, he has saved the best for last. Ah, I see, Mr. Freddy. I see indeed. I just realized I don't have Iron Will. Normally, I run Iron Will. I don't have Iron Will. So that's not good. Oh, hi. I know that one's not fake. That is crazy. That beam is huge compared to what it used to be. I'm not going to waste too much pallets here because I do have three strike and it doesn't make sense. Ow. Okay, well... We're not going to talk about it. Oh, he's just going to leave me. Okay. Also, new camera angle. And you can also see you trying to get up. <laughs> it's it's very sad. You trying to get up. You try and try and try. And then you try some more. And then... 
<laughs> it's actually quite nice. And if you take a look in the bottom right, you also can see your perks, just like the Pop Goes the Weasel, uh, is highlighted in bright red. Uh, so that's also new. I don't know what those two are doing over there. They are just um, nonchalantly running. Am I still going to try to get up after? Oh, I do. I still try to get up. No, I don't. I don't. Oh, I do. I do. The more I recover. Help. Help me. We haven't done one gen. Okay, guys, we need to start doing stuff. There is also the new animation for actually stepping up once you are on the floor. Cheryl, you're actually healing quite quickly. Does he have dying light as well? I feel like he has dying light. Okay. I am just going to work on generators and just be a gen jockey because we have no gens done. So I opt in to do that. I'm actually going to go get the save really quickly while we can. Grab ourselves a little bit of blood points. I'm just going to work on this generator. Come on, Claudette. Generator to the moon. We need to work on it. There's no time to heal, Claudette. We're going to gen with me. You got to pump these gens out like the survivors we are. Also, I absolutely... Do you have spine chill? You have spine chill, don't you? You fucking do. <laughs> I absolutely love the update that makes the skill checks have the black opacity at the back. It makes it absolutely amazing because uh, normally... Uh, if you do a skill check, I don't know what that was. Normally, if you do a skill check, uh, you're typically, ooh. <laughs> if, if it's too bright, what ends up happening is that, um, you don't get to actually hit that skill check. And it really, really, really sucks because of that. So, it's quite nice that they added that in. So, that way, if your skill check is indeed too bright, uh, you can actually have it a lot more dimmed down. I forgot that Freddy has very long claws. Now I don't know what pallets are real or fake, so I'm only going to trust the vaults. I ain't trusting anything else but the vaults. Nothing but the vaults. Okay, maybe we need to trust the pallet. Pallet, save me! Oh, thank God that one was real. We don't have iron will, so this really doesn't help us. Normally, if we had iron will, this would be absolutely amazing. But we don't have iron will, so... That really sucks, uh, and I know that there's absolutely nothing this way, so I'm just going to go back this way. Jeez, Freddy, man, you need to chill out. I'm just trying to get some gameplay for YouTube. You're out here trying to murder me. He's teleporting somewhere. I wonder where he's going. This is pretty much a dead zone now, besides that that vaults that we have over there, so not really gonna, not really going to try to do much here. Just try to get some progress in the gen. Hopefully our teammates can take some hits. Also, top left, I, I pointed out, but in case you haven't noticed, when you are now injured, instead of just having that red aura around your character portrait, you now have a slash around it. When you're down, it shows the down symbol. So pretty nice to that. Um, pretty nice update there. As you can see, the make just went down to the top left. You can see the down symbol. Doesn't look too bad. Again, classic mode still would be nice. There is that lovely new skill check that I've been talking about, and I absolutely adore it. All right, I am going to go save the Megathon. He clearly sees me there, and he's going to be coming straight for me. One generator remaining, though, so hopefully the other survivor is working on their generator, and we can actually get something going. Yeah, he's right behind me. We got borrowed time, though, so this side would be nice. But it won't matter, actually, because he is in the dream world, so... Ah! Oh, you know! That saved the best for last. Mr. Freddy, go away. No one likes you. Ow. That man's range is incredible. And that was a fake pallet. Okay. Well, that's a rip for us. <laughs> they were working on the Gendo. No, don't hook me. No. Bleh. Well, that's an oof. Do they at least get the gen pop? I think they just actually started working on it because that girl just got saved, right? Well, that is a GG. I know. I suck at Survivor. It is what it is. Well, there you go, guys. That is pretty much everything that is in the new update. We got the new UI, the new movements, the new clown. Tomorrow, we're obviously going to be getting the new tome. After that, the new event. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe for some more DVD content and share it with your friends as well. Thank you for watching, everyone. I do appreciate it. Again, please come out on Twitch. Today, we're doing a very, very long stream. So no matter what time you're watching this video in the next 12 hours, we'll be live. So come on out, drop a follow, enjoy. 
We're a small based community. You'll get heard. You can talk about literally anything uh, as long as it's not against TOS or our rules. And uh, you can come in and have a splendid time with us. I hope that I see you guys there. But with that being said, I'm the king. I tip my crown to you guys. We'll see you in the first.